So I got something really interesting for you guys. Now this plugin just came out. I've been playing around with it for a couple of days now. It's a really interesting plugin. Think of it like this. Think of a DJ. You got your turntables, you got your left, right, your one and twos. So think of this plugin like a mixer. It's the way I'm seeing this plugin. So I already have my favorite DAW open and the plugin's already on. Let's put this plugin on bypass and let's listen to the example that I'm using. So like I said in the beginning of the video, you got A and B, you have this knob here, you could blend between both signals. You have your gain in for your left side, you have your gain out for your B side, and on the center you have your main output, overall gain. So you can adjust that all you want. So over here you have this invert option. So you can just click that. And then we have your dry wet, which is really important. Either grab the slider and go up with the mouse, down, while well, I'm using a trackball. I'm sure you could use your uh, scroll wheel. Or you can just click right here, or double click or enter a value, so I can enter 50. And now it's set to 50%. We also have all these presets here. So we got some pretty cool stuff here. You can just double click, or you can use these arrows, left and right, just to select exactly what you want. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this track. So one thing right away, you're gonna notice this session isn't properly named, that's okay. So I made a selection here. Let's open a plugin. Plugins on bypass. Now I'm gonna turn the plugin on and here's the settings. It's on A, dry, wet, completely dry. And let's start from the beginning. So I'm not gonna use the B section of this plugin. I'm gonna use this plugin just to take advantage of its effects. Pretty interesting. Now we're just taking advantage of all the nice effects that this plugin has. So we're gonna take the effect, put it all the way to dry. Let me play. So watch what happens when I move this knob. So we're gonna listen to B. Now we're gonna listen to A. I definitely like this idea. And we can also apply some of those effects to it. But as you can hear, A already has effects printed to it. I'm gonna double click dry wet, set it to 50%. And let's randomly select one and let's see what happens. There's no point in being subtle. Oh, that's a really nice effect right there. And of course, if you wanted to, you can control its individual inputs.
I don't want to blow out your speakers. Now, there's a few things you need to know about this plugin. If you're a GarageBand user, you're not going to be able to use it. This plugin relies on Sidechain. If you're a Pro Tools user like I am, one thing you need to know, if we take a look at the key input, we could only select the left or the right. We can't select the stereo source. That can be an issue. Now, there are some workarounds, but I decided not to show you those workarounds because this video dragged way too long. I will be creating a video specifically on that. So if you head over to United Plugins, you can actually get this plugin for around 22 US dollars. So just check the description, click the link, give this a try. And if you really like it, get the plugin. You won't be disappointed. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Thank you.